So let's examine motion of an object on an inclined plane when there is friction. So let's suppose we have the following inclined plane that makes an angle of theta with respect to our ground. Now let's assume the object is traveling downward along our inclined plane with constant speed, constant velocity. So we choose the x-axis to run parallel, to run along the surface of the inclined plane, and we choose the y-axis to be perpendicular to the inclined plane, to the surface of the inclined plane. Now, let's label all the forces, let's create the free body diagram for our moving object, our moving box, traveling down the inclined plane. So we begin by labeling the force of gravity which pulls downward on the object. So the force of gravity acts perpendicular to the ground. The normal force acts perpendicular and points upward along the y-axis and runs perpendicular to our surface of the object, of our inclined plane. Now, there are also two component forces that come from the force of gravity. One component force runs along the x-axis pointing in the positive direction and that creates the force of friction which points in the opposite direction, in the negative direction along the x-axis. And finally, there's also a component force that acts in the negative direction, runs in the negative direction of the y-axis shown here. So the cosine of the angle multiplied by the magnitude of our, of our gravitational force. So, now let's sum up all the forces acting along the y-axis and all the forces acting along the x-axis. So, we know that because we have constant velocity along the x-axis and because our object is not moving along the y-axis, both of these summations will be zero. We set them equal to zero. So let's sum up all the forces acting along our y-axis. We choose going upward to be positive, downward to be negative. We have the normal force minus the cosine of the angle theta times the gravitational force equals zero. So we bring this guy to the right side and we see that our normal force is equal to the cosine of the angle theta multiplied by the magnitude of our gravitational pull, so mass times g. Now, let's sum up all the forces acting along our x-axis. So that means we choose going this way to be positive and going back up to be negative. We have sine of the angle theta multiplied by m times g minus the force of friction equals zero because, once again, we have no acceleration, we have constant velocity, constant speed. So, let's rearrange, let's bring the force of friction to one side and this guy to the other side. So, force of friction, which is equal to, well, because our object is sliding, it's moving, we're dealing with kinetic friction. So, this equals to the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force. So, we are presented with the same color as before because it's the same exact normal force equals sine of the angle theta multiplied by m times g, where m times g is simply our force due to gravity on our object. So, now, let's bring mk, the coefficient, or mu k, the coefficient of our kinetic friction to one side, everything else to the other side, so we have the coefficient of kinetic friction is equal to sine of the angle theta multiplied by m times g divided by our normal force, so now we take the normal force, which equals this, and replace it. We plug this into here. So we see that sine of the angle theta multiplied by m times g divided by cosine of the angle theta multiplied by m times g. The m times g cancels, and we see that our coefficient of kinetic friction, mk, is equal to sine of the angle theta divided by cosine of the angle theta, which is the same thing as saying our coefficient of kinetic friction is equal to tangent of the angle theta. So, whenever we have an object that is traveling down an inclined plane that has an angle of theta with respect to the ground, and assuming our object 
has a constant velocity, constant speed, we can find what the coefficient of our kinetic friction is by using the following very simple equation, simply taking the tangent of our angle theta.